Dr. Dan Ozoko is a professor of geology at the University of Nigeria. He is also the director of Rural Evangelical Outreach, a missionary agency that takes the gospel to rural areas in Africa. The journey for him started very many years ago. Before I entered the university, I sought God's face to know what he would have me to. And incidentally, I had missionary <laughs> as I was playing, trying to enter the university and I said, there's no university offering missionary as a course. So I just went and read geology, which was what I liked to do. And then um, I remember that in my final year, we normally did this uh, final year mapping. So I was sent to then Plateau State and uh, in Nigeria. When I got there, it was a jungle area. I had the voice of God saying clearly to me, I wanted to serve me. I say we are you see, in a place like this. So that became clear for me. During his National Service Corps program, another event would further confirm to Dan the direction he had to follow. From Ibadan, we went to a nearby village, less than 10 minutes from the metropolis, and we met a village that was so backward, no metal roofed houses, everything touched, and mud houses, and people living in abject poverty. That encounter changed my life. So from that encounter, I made up my mind to dedicate the rest of my life looking for people like that and give them the gospel. That's how it all started. And after his service here, Dan made another startling discovery. You know, people assume that everybody in the, in the southern part or the eastern part, they are Christian. But after that youth service, and I, I began to go to the villages for myself, I found first-class idolatry everywhere, without exception. Dan started the Rural Evangelical Outreach to take the gospel to these hidden communities. From his base in Enugu, Dan's ministry has reached out to all parts of Nigeria and beyond. Um, we have covered practically most of the places in uh, this natural zone and many parts of Enugu State. We have gone to most parts of Benue. We have gone to many parts of Kogi State, Niger State. In fact, at the point we planted 26 churches in the uh, rural areas of Niger State, we walked among the Kamuku, the Bagi, then walked among the uh, Dakarikari, we walked among the Kemberi, you know, the, before the Lord said we should come back and raise a base in Osuka, which we obeyed. And then we also labored in Akwai Bom, labored in the riverine areas of uh, rivers and Bayesa states, riverine areas of Lagos states. And then from there, we moved into Cameroon, we moved into Liberia, some work in uh, Ivory Coast. And uh, now we're doing some work in Uganda and Kenya. Apart from spreading the gospel, rural evangelical outreach also meets the material needs of the communities. Where the needs are basically spiritual, like most of the places we've gone to, uh, which are full of idols, we target that. And we, so what we do in the community depends on the need in the place. Now where uh, the need is uh, medical, we go with medical outreaches. Where the need is um, in the area of uh, agriculture, we try to talk to them about better um, means of farming and all that. While committed to his job at the university, Dan also takes a regular tour of the mission fields to assess progress and encourage the field workers. I, I get into law in the year 1994, and uh, since then I've been working with them, planting churches. When, when I came here about 20 years ago, I met a lot of Sharans, a lot of idol worshippers, people are not giving their life to Christ. But as time goes on, their eyes begin to open, they now begin to accept what I'm telling them. Since Rio came into our community, there have been changes. We used to worship idols, but now no more. There is a great difference. Dan says missions to the hinterlands are demanding of time and resources. Well, some of us still work. Uh, we do tent making for some of us who can. Um, and then we uh, put most of what we have into the work. But basically, we also ask Christians, we share the name with believers, we say, as you are led by the Spirit of God, you can get involved. When you come to Nigeria, you see the mega churches in the cities, 
you will be deceived into thinking, oh, we're making a lot of impact. But the reality is that most of the cities you have in Nigeria, just drive a few minutes from the city, you will encounter rural areas that have not been touched by the gospel or minimally touched by the gospel. Although his ministry has been effective in impacting rural communities with the gospel, he says there's a lot more work to be done and is sounding the alarm for every Christian to get involved. We need every Christian. I'm begging every child of God, have a heart for this. If you cannot go, send your money to help those who are going. Every child of God can do something. The laborers are actually few. And then when Jesus Christ was saying that the harvest is plenty, the laborers are few, I can understand it. I wish we would have more people doing this.